Do you accept that the increased flow of asylum seekers from the UK to the Republic of Ireland does show that people smugglers are getting the Rwanda message? I, look, I do not believe that even if the Rwanda policy is implemented, and the government's got no excuses now, it's gone through Parliament, even if it's implemented, even working at the Prime Minister's best expectations about flights taking off, it is still not going to deal with the problem of small boats. That requires serious solutions. They might not be headline-grabbing solutions, but the solutions of putting the money that's gone to Rwanda into the National Crime Agency so we can have proper cross-border policing to tackle the criminal gangs, speeding up the processing of decision-making, making sure we've got serious returns agreements with other countries. Those are solutions oh. that can work. The Rwanda scheme is a very expensive okay. gimmick, and I don't believe that £2 million per person is okay. an acceptable use of taxpayers' money. You, you said um, that you'll get rid of the... Rwanda legislation, if you're in government. Would you bring the people back from Rwanda? Uh, look, if the, once people are settled in Rwanda, they're settled in Rwanda, and I don't well, think... Well, they won't be settled. They'll be, they'll don't be think, asylum I don't, think I don't think we're looking to, to um, unpick that, that situation. What we are looking to do is to move forward in a more serious way to deal with this problem of small boats, to tackle so, illegal migration and to get our immigration system back on track. We've had so, so, plenty of chances, plenty of Prime Ministers now under the Conservative so Party. So, to be clear, to the, for those people who might be in uh, Kigali, you're not going to bring them back if you, if you come into government.